The state has given approval for a key step for Yale New Haven Hospital to buy Prospect Medical Holdings. The purchase would bring Waterbury Hospital, Manchester Hospital, and Rockville General under Yale New Haven's control. Well, now Governor Lamont is pushing for more regulation and scrutiny of hospital finances. News 8 political contributor Mike Cerulli has our story. When something goes wrong, everybody expect the state to step in and help out. With Prospect Medical in the limelight, top officials are backing a bill that would give the state a closer look at hospital finances. It's part of an effort to prevent future crises in Connecticut's health care system. But when there is uh, challenges with the hospital and they're getting behind on things like rent, on things like taxes, on things like paying their employees health care premiums or health care costs, the state doesn't always have a window into that bill backed by the Lamont administration also adds new penalties and increased enforcement for hospitals that violate state regulations and expands state scrutiny of future hospital purchases. This is an early warning system. Lamont sees parallels between the hospital legislation and regulations put in place around the financial sector after the Great Recession. And to me this is similar. This is a stress test for a hospital. So we know uh, how they're doing um, earlier on, knowing what um, changes have to be made to keep them uh, going forward. Leaders of Connecticut's major hospitals, including Prospect's Waterbury Hospital, oppose the Lamont-backed bill. Yale New Haven Health says it adds an increased burden on hospitals without clear benefits to patients. They also cite added cost and possible interference in emergency medical operations. Hartford HealthCare also opposes, citing many of the same concerns as Yale. The legislature is considering several proposals on hospital finances, purchases, and the like. The top House Republican on the Public Health Committee told me her party wants to see compromise across those proposals. As for Yale and Prospect, a final deal has yet to be signed. Reporting at the State Capitol, I'm Mike Cerulli, News 8.